Welcome to Booze and Glues, a justifiable excuse for two friends to spend time together, cross crafts off their to-do list and, of course, drink. With glue guns and wine glasses at the ready, join Jesse Shepherd and Tabitha Davis as they attempt to simultaneously chat, craft, chug and charm. Will they consume alcohol? Definitely. Will they actually accomplish anything? Debatably. Will they bitch and complain? Inevitably. Will it be a bloody good time? Absolutely. And if things don't turn out just as planned, well, that's okay too. Because booze. Jesse Shepard and I'm Tabitha Davis and we are booze and glues. Hey, we did it. That was awesome. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Tab. I just wanted to apologize briefly here for the sound quality in our first episode. We kind of thought if we got started, we could always fix things along the way, and we definitely have. Things are going to improve significantly in the near future. Thanks for listening. Welcome to our podcast called Booze and Glues. As you might think, we're going to drink booze and we're going to use glues. We're not going to huff glue. No huffing. We're just going to use it to craft things while we podcast. I'm Tabitha Davis. And I'm Jesse Shepard. And we are your lovely hosts. Tonight we are drinking a 3 red wine, as you can hear. And it is a blend from Costco. Big bottle. Big, big bottle. Hopefully we won't get through all of it. No, that would be bad. <laughs> so, in light of the holiday season, we're going to make some pumpkins. We are. Burlap pumpkins. Is it's called. We love pumpkins. We know that you can't see these pumpkins, but you can get onto Instagram and we'll post pictures of what we think. It'll be great. You might think we're very basic, making pumpkin, but I don't drink pumpkin spice lattes, so... No, I do. <laughs> do you? Pumpkin spice anything. See, that's not me. You what? know that fancy trick? Okay. You taught us. Oh, I did teach that fancy trick. Jesse here actually uh, helped me make all of my centerpieces and table runners for my wedding, which we are now chopping up to make pumpkins with. It's repurposing. Yeah. Which is a great we're fans of thing to do. Because if we're gonna making crafts every week, yeah, we gotta save some money somewhere. Who has that kind of cash? So basically, we're starting with some burlap. There's a fun little trick that if you pull out one string, you can cut a nice straight line, um, which would be best demonstrated by the lady at your local Gillian's counter. Because <laughs> that's who taught it to me. Actually, oh, really? It was a guy. <laughs> oh, because every time I go to Gillian's. I feel like they don't know how they cut fabric. Like, yeah. It was, I it was like a guy. For you. And I was at the Joanne's, I think, in like Elk Road on like a Black Friday. And he was like, hey, do you want to see a really cool trick? And he proceeded to just bust out this perfectly straight line on burlap, which is super hard to do. So we had a picture for inspiration. We're not using these directions. No, we're not using directions. I was thinking that I would just gather mine into a ball, but it does not seem to be working. I'm kind of curious what your process is here now. You know, I kind of did look at the us. I did not. I think the idea of these pumpkins we found, or Tabitha found on Pinterest, was what are you using Pinterest for all of our inspiration? Probably. Because I mean, we're basic. Yeah, we're not what you like to call artistic people, but we are what you like to call craft yeah. people. I don't create things, I use other people's creations. Yes, I like to get other people's great ideas and then make them better. That's usually, I'm like, I can do that. One. At least that's what we're hoping. That's, that's what we're thinking. So right now we can use this kind of tube and we're tying the end, and then when you turn it inside out, it should make a somewhat fat base, so pumpkin does the theory, I think. And yours is looking more promising than mine, which for a moment there just looks like one of those creepy 
Do you remember ever like your grandma making a doll out of a stocking, like a nylon? And yeah, then, yeah, those yes. things are, It was like like the original Cabbage Patch or something for people in Trailer Park. I don't know. They're terrifying. Tabitha's from Chester. I am. A place in California that no one has ever heard of, and has some trailer parks. <laughs> Everywhere has trailer parks. That's true. Yeah. Actually, Chester's trailer parks are mostly for people who want to like camp. That's true. Because it's kind of a resortish tiny town. Well, so did I tell you? So we went to a camp up in Chester not too long ago, and my boyfriend and I were going on a walk with our dog, and we passed by. I think it was a trailer park. And, oh yeah, the trailer park was butts right up to the back of that camp. Right, which has always slightly disturbed me, and the fact that it's like a camp, and then I'm like, are people making that right there? It's a possibility. It, it can be. Well, this guy had a really lovely sign out front of his house that was like carved out of wood, and it said, "An asshole with lots of guns lives here." <laughs> right. So we're walking by, and I'm like, "What a lovely sign!" And then what does my dog decide to do but pee in his front yard? Oh. And so I'm like, "Please hurry. Let's go. Let's hurry." And then. He comes around the corner. The asshole? The asshole. Oh, okay. And I'm like, sir, I'm very sorry. My dog is peeing on your lawn. It wasn't really lawn. It's dirt. Yeah. And with weeds. With weeds. Yeah. And he was actually a very nice asshole. I think I'm going to start over because my scene is too far. Like, you have a bigger square in So I'm going to start over here with my square because I felt like it wasn't. I mean, I think you need more of a rectangle. I'm, I think I'm maybe too skinny of a base, maybe? Just, I don't know. Maybe it needs to be at an angle. I'm going to try that and see what happens. So anyway, this is our first podcast, and we'd like to apologize for the quality. It's probably going to be a little rough. We're hoping that someday when we have loads of listeners, they look back on our first one and are like, Oh, how sweet is that? Right. They didn't know what they were doing. That's, that is the goal in mind, is that someday, even us, we'll look back and be like, aww, <laughs> this is really adorable. Look at, we were just babes, didn't know what we were up to, but hey, you got to start somewhere. And speaking of starting somewhere, let's tell our listeners how we came up with this great idea. So, Tab comes to me one day and just gets this, like, <laughs> look in her eyes, like she had... I like to think it was an English grin. <laughs> and she says, Do you want to make a podcast with me? And uh, Jesse is the first person who responded in kind with my craziness and said, Uh, yeah? Sure. <laughs> Why? No. I said, what about? And we weren't sure. But I talk a lot, and I feel like people should be listening. People want to listen? I don't know. We're not sure. We're <laughs> going to find out. We have things to say. So we um, came to the conclusion that amongst many other things that we enjoy and enjoy in each other's company, we like to do crafts. We like to, you know, DIY things. Well, we've and never really crafted together before, other than your wedding. I know, which is kind of funny because we both do it a lot. Right now we just have these odd like <laughs> um, little burlap, little Grinch bag, sacks of coal or something for Christmas. Maybe that we can just we can just transition this straight right from fall. I mean, the stores are doing it all now. Right? Oh, it makes me happy <laughs> because everyone's like, "But Halloween is your favorite," which it is. Halloween is my favorite, but I am also I love Christmas. So, so much. So, I just try to, like, enjoy all the seasons at once. I'm totally fine with having a little bit of both. That is the lover of all things holiday. All things. You name a holiday, I love it. Also, and I'm not. I probably, I mean, we can make up holiday and I celebrate it. We're getting close. Well, it's not like a pomegranate. It does. Maybe if we, I was thinking we could tuck the spin in. So, I don't, I don't know what I would do with that. Oh, well, I was going to turn off this part. Like, the bone, the scalp, the 
can't stop. <laughs> don't know what they're called, but yeah, no, I think they do drawn vines. That sounds normal. Like I've never been to a country. <laughs> I go to at least three or four every year. Yeah, it's the most basic. <laughs> basic bitches. Um, I'm so glad that I was not the first one to cuss on this podcast. I'm leaving that all to you. It doesn't surprise me that I was the first one. But before we came to lose and lose. Yeah, we decided that we would enjoy our crafting more while drinking, and we would probably be more entertained. Very true. So, figured, let's add some alcohol to the equation, because that's never serious wrong. Right? Well, depends how you look at last weekend. <laughs> we nearly started our podcast last week, but we had so much fun on Sunday that we felt like we were dying on Monday. And thought it wouldn't be quite right to start the first episode of Booze and Blues without any booze because there was no way I was drinking alcohol. No way. No way on earth I was having any alcohol near my lips. It was a rough couple of days. Yeah. Um, you don't get over hangovers in your 30s like you do in your 20s, so I think be prepared for that. <laughs> but let's talk about how great Sunday it really was. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> we have brunched before to so have husband, my boyfriend and I, about a year ago, and then it was a great time. So we decided let's brunch again. Yes. And Especially because your boyfriend was like, I just want to let you guys know that I really enjoy this. <laughs> he loves brunch. <laughs> he really loves brunch. Which is funny because who would have thought? So we decided to do it again. We go to this really lovely Restaurant for breakfast, ten thirty. I think was our reservation, right? Yeah. And I think last time we started a little bit later, which may have been part of our downfall. And so we show up, have a lovely breakfast with some mimosas, lots of mimosas, lots of mimosas, and then move on to another bar called the Banshee. Super fun, great little pub. Yeah. They have the best macaroni and cheese in the world, but we were so stuck that we couldn't eat it. I have a hard time going there and not going there. Oh, for real. It's the most amazing. I've tried many a time to create something similar. I just can't quite get it. So, there we had a couple of, like, cocktails. Oh, yeah, the blueberry and basil. Blueberry mojito or yeah, something. They yeah, they were delicious. That was really, really good. And then we moved on from there to... I think we went to the bear. The bear. <laughs> There's this place called the Madison <laughs> Bear Garden. We tried to walk into a sports bar because we were going to watch uh, the Sunday. Yeah, we were going to watch football and the Giants game, um, which go Giants. Um, <laughs> and we walked in. It was super crowded, not a place to sit. So we all kind of looked at each other and said, well, let's go to the hospital. So we went to the bear, did some sports watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, had some more beverages. I think we moved to beer at that point. Uh, I had Mrs. Seven. Oh, that's and a double. It it turned, I told my boyfriend, not a double, just a single. And he said, sorry, I knew the bartender. And he did it, got me a double without asking. I mean, what can we do? It's <laughs> way too much. <laughs> so, then we left there. Walked around town a little bit. There was an event going on. Yes. We're all still crying at this point. We uh, got to pet a donkey. And a miniature horse. And a miniature horse. And a um, pony. Oh, yeah. One of each. One of each. Standing in the middle of the road. This is the ugliest pumpkin I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we move on to... Oh, we were all like, hey, why don't we go to Joe's? Joe's is a fun little bar that's a little out of the way, but they have a little country bar. Yeah, it's just super chill, and they have good drinks and sawdust on the floor, so that's fun. And um, that day, they also happened to have some super awesome toasters, courtesy of Bud Light, that had paper footballs that you could pop out. Um, so I'm sure we really enjoyed the bartender with this. And uh, we proceeded, after we walked all the way there, because it's quite the trek, uh, 
had to sit there and drink until it was dark outside again. <laughs> as soon as we all got up, I think I had, I definitely had three and I might have had four Bloody Marys and a couple of beers. We were drinking Corona. I remember pouring Corona in my Bloody Mary, actually. Yeah, we all thought everything was great. Uh, we all got up to leave. Um, I actually don't remember that or anything that happened thereafter. <laughs> Which is so great. I just know we got pizza. I don't remember that. But I do have a faint memory of putting a pin with feather tape to it down my dress. Because when I drink, I turn into a klepto. And um, I did come home with that. I'm not sure where it came from. I think where we got pizza. This is also very overcooked. Oh, but yours looks like it has a stem on top. Wait, yours actually looks like a pumpkin, though. Mm. Like, mine just kind of looks like a blob. I should have left my stem part longer, I think. Because right now I have basically like a very, very little pumpkin top. This is a liquor company. We need some like swirly, curly things on the top. Oh, yes. For when the vine gets cut off, it'll get done. Anywho, we all got home safely. Um, my husband is such a good guy because he puts up a plan on fence and he made sure I came home in one piece, which is great. Because I was obviously not in any condition. Not 100% sure, but I woke up the next morning and was like, where did these styrofoam cups come from? And the Uber driver who drove us home last night looked like Jim Gaffigan. Because I was pretty sure he did. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. And so, needless to say, we were all feeling pretty rough the next day. We still got together and did some work on the podcast and watched some football on the night. But we decided to postpone our first episode until this week. So, here we are. Here we are. We sent our boys over to Jesse's house. And our dogs tonight, so they can play and be noisy. I don't know. I don't like my stem. We need to put your stem on my pumpkin. Maybe if they were orange. This is the ugliest thing you've ever seen. Our pumpkins are not looking fast. <laughs> I want my stem to be better. I would be fairly okay with it. I'm like okay with my stem. So we've talked a couple of times now, I think, about watching football and whatnot. Yeah, and so tonight, uh, Jessie showed up in her lovely 49er sweatshirt and black ladies. And I also am <laughs> wearing a 49er sweatshirt and black ladies. So we were totally on the same line of thinking there. Wow. I mean, even though yesterday was rough. Very rough. But that's okay, because our beloved Giants have turned so well for a time. So you can miss. If we play October baseball, we can do it. I know, I'm like, once, I mean, all we gotta do is get to October, and we did. We're good. I mean, I feel like there's something about, I don't know, maybe it's just me because I'm a giant fan, but there's something like very great about like the black and orange black timber, black and orange red face, like all oh, a good vibe. And they they just play them. Yeah. When the time comes to like step up, they step up. Yeah. I could make my stem look way better with hot blue. I mean the name of their face blue and blues. Mm. I need a prettier pumpkin. I'm trying to make a little curly cue. Like, that's my favorite thing about going and picking pumpkins at a pumpkin patch, is I like to get ones that still have, like, pieces of vine on them. So we can have a little curl with you. It's completely the best. I apparently have enough starch to start a rifle with this. <laughs> I have a, like, half gallon of liquid starch. I'm pretty sure I bought that because somewhere along the line, I was like, hey, we're going to make homemade silly putty or Slime or wheel or something, and oh. we need a starch for it. Oh! What? They left the string and pulled it through! Yeah, and, and then it's like the. Yes! Okay, we're gonna start over. Okie dokie, and we are off to the races. I feel like we should have some like 
I wanted to say audience like interaction. But that's what I was gonna say that we don't have an audience. No. At some point you guys can like tag us and stuff and we'll talk about it on the show or something. Are we gonna do the craft you want us to do? Oh my gosh, you guys can send us great crafts and craft ideas. You can send us great crafts too. We would love that. That would be so great. Um, except you can't get because we haven't set up our PO box. And as much as I love people, I also don't want to get murdered. <laughs> so, tell us <laughs> all murder podcast. Okay, so can we talk about that? Okay. I um I love true crime. Ladies love true crime. That's a shout out to the podcast. Um I actually well I've always liked true crime and weird literally things in schools. That's just been my my MO since I was a kid even. Um and then when serial came out I really really enjoyed that. So then I got kind of into Undisclosed when it came out, which goes kind of delve deeper into the serial well, this is the one case. And from there I've just gone on this like spiraling, crazy, uh, true crime, murder podcast. There's like one thing leads to the next it's train. It's a crazy train. <laughs> that's, that's where you can insert all the song in my head. Right. <laughs> I think about how I don't want to get murdered. I think in some ways when you like get really into true crime, you are like living something vicariously. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna learn something, and I won't get murdered because I'll know this. That I think that's what's going on in my head. Okay, it's just really interesting. Well, there's me who does doesn't listen to podcasts. I don't understand why. I I can't listen to people and like but she expects you to. <laughs> Please do. <no. laughs> Please listen. We have important things to say. I think I'm much funnier and smarter than anybody else. Oh, that's a that's a brave that's a brave thing to say. It's also very sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> We're so much better than everyone. That's why you should listen to us. Uh, we should have our own podcast. This is how our conversation really went. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I had this figured out. Even though we grew up in California, we're not so bad at this. No. We we're might be. Or basic. We're not basic either. No. We're pretty chill. Um, I like to think so. I, would, I want to be chill, but in all reality, there's nothing chill about it. Uh, high strong? Yeah. High strong? Probably three up time with some. Um, what are some other nice ways of saying? So organized, detail oriented. <laughs> That's what you tell people in a job. I'm very detail oriented. I follow instructions for the most part of the class. Actually, oh. it's stressing out a little bit that I'm not following instructions. Usually, my first thing is like reading the instructions. Oh, so let me tell you, we went and did one of those escape room puzzle things. Did you know what? This weekend. What? Yeah. I. Somehow, I'm not quite sure how this happens, had a 10 year old. And he just turned 10 last week, very <laughs> also detail oriented. <laughs> um, he wants to solve riddles and he has um, mastered the Rubik's Cube. It's pretty amazing and proud. But so for his birthday, we thought, let's go to a puzzle room. So we went and did one in Sacramento. It's called Golden Puzzle, Golden Puzzle Room. And it was super fun. It was with a vampire theme. Ruben was smarter than we were, but we were really close. It out. We did not. We were really close. We only had like one more puzzle to solve. Oh, um, it was a time limit? Yeah, one hour. It was pretty fun. I had a difficult time when we first walked in because I kind of stood there. They start the time and they're like, go. And I was like, where are the directions? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm used to like reading instructions, and this is this, and this is next, and I was um, a little bit flustered for a minute or two. And then I became like, okay, let's just start talking things and, you know, figure that out. It would be fun to go like a group of adults. Yeah, we did this before? It was just three of us. Oh. Yeah, we'd be ten and older, so. Oh, okay. um, oh 
This is way smarter. So you created five or six yeah. stem pieces. Mm -hmm. And you tied them through. That's something that I'm not embarrassed about. Right. I think you, after all, we have to post these on Instagram. Oh, you can find us on Instagram. And you should find us on Instagram. Booze and blues. Yeah, that's our Instagram. Also, uh, <laughs> Pinterest. On Pinterest, Twitter, on Twitter, the Facebook. Once we really get going, I'm sure we'll have lots of witty things to say on Twitter. I don't even have witty things to say myself on Twitter. Usually, my tweets consist of retreating, re <laughs> retreating. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, retreating. I just I look at stuff and then I'm like, I've got to get out of here. Um, <laughs> retweeting other people's stuff. That's all I do. I'm like, uh, I don't have anything good to say, but this guy did. I don't even have a Twitter. Well, I, she does. I have one. She does have one, because she doesn't even use it. The last time I crossed this was at Tom's wedding. So funny. How long have you been married? I don't remember. <laughs> three? Oh, two years. It's got to be two. Definitely. I'm going to say, it can be three. Definitely oh. two years. <laughs> so bad. Two years. There's a sign in my hallway where you go look at the date, but I'm pretty sure it was 14, 2014. How did you get all the pieces together at the end to tie this? So, but just did you roll it tight? No, I didn't roll it. I like, folded it a couple times. I don't know what's happening right now, but it's going to be interesting. I think that if we get an idea off of Pinterest, we will pin it so you will know where the original was and we'll probably the correct directions because we're mostly just going to show you our finished product. I feel like usually I can find a Pinterest craft and make, make it or make it better. Like I can say, hey, look at that, come out and spin on this. Oh. But these grow up something for kind of people have to dessert. Oh, yeah. So we'll post the pin and you guys can attend with yourself if you like. This is going to be one of those Pinterest fails. Oh my gosh, that's how we're going to get famous. It's just Pinterest, Pinterest fails. <laughs> Great, we're gonna be those. And girls. then I'm gonna cry because everybody's gonna be like, oh, oh they think gonna... they're so crafty <laughs> and so cute. You suck. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> the mere suggestion that we're gonna get famous is pretty funny. <laughs> I don't oh, like, no. We're not. I did. I, well, I just didn't make a lot of right turns, I guess. <laughs> it just pulled it apart. Well, not on the strings. I get that now. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense now that I've ripped them completely through the spin part. This is not happening. So this is going to be the, the issue of crafting. The girls are going to get so right. lost in the crafts. Well, I mean, I'm sure the furnace of the whole thing is probably going to be more than... Yeah, I feel like uh, we're going to spend all this time working on all this stuff, and then later on we're going to be like, oh yeah, no, it's time to the podcast. No, we're going to look back and say, Ha! Ah, we tried to craft it every day. Trying to craft at the same time. Like, maybe we should have our craft like food set up. Like, you know, all the parts then. Like you do for uh, kids. <laughs> They'll be all like, hey, hey, what's up? Okay, all you have to do is put this together. <laughs> it's like those cooking uh, shows and stuff. Yeah. Like, this just takes five minutes to make. And they have everything already measured right. out in these nice little, like, all these fancy matching cups. Like, where do these people live? Right. I don't even know where to buy all the fancy matching cups. Yeah. Who has that? And yeah, you just wonder, like, who got all your pepper and stuff, right? Well, it cracks up to you, like, they oh. grind their pepper into a teeny tiny bowl and then just dump it in. Not me. I'm standing up with my soup grinding pepper in. Which is also actually kind of how we feel about crafting people. Oh, the internet. Sure. We were just talking about this the other day where, you know, people will tell you, like, oh, you can make this pallet sofa in just two hours. And then three wood. Yeah, and for five dollars. Yeah. But they have all of the supplies. Like, five dollars. You already, already own the sting and the whatever. And they have a husband and that's a contractor. Right. And Here's all your palettes I've been collecting for you for free. And saws so. and paint and I mean I have saws, I'm probably paint. 
I do actually have quite a crafting collection. If you lose any of somebody's like, oh, I want to make this and that, I can maybe say, hey, oh, I have something I can do that with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's kind of, I tend to like really go big or down some. Yeah. And I, I have a, a father who is a handyman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So all the crap you just talked about. Oh, oh women with their husbands. And then you're like, daddy. Well, yeah, I do have that. How do you make the table? But when I wound up with a boyfriend who's like never touched a drill before. For reals, me too. I can like go, what are the most frustrating things? <laughs> That's <laughs> not more frustrating than these pumpkins. <laughs> Definitely not more frustrating than these pumpkins are. When my first marriage, I built a house. Like the owner built a house. I have like done anything you can imagine to a house. Cutting and flooring and I mean craziness. I somehow like I'll work on my own car. I grew up in the mountains. You gotta get some firewood, etc. Run a snowboard. I somehow married the like unhandiest man on earth. In fact, I call Adam a break. He breaks everything. <laughs> and then I get to fix it. Even the other day, I told Blake I, sweet, I bought new new light bulbs. The one room that you couldn't see in because none of the lights were. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's, it's like coming like, off. Is anyone going to change these? Oh, okay. I guess that's me. So yeah, I, I finally purchased light bulbs, right? And I said, hey, wait. I was like, well, I get ready. Like, can you please put these light bulbs in? And apparently that was too many questions to ask. I put the light bulbs in. Yeah. But you can't put your what? mascara on for you either or curl your hair. So, yeah, I, I agree. I, I go through the same thing. I say, okay, I bought you into a wireless for the car. Can you go put them on? And then, like, 45 minutes later, I go out and I'm like, what is happening out here? And they're still, I'm like, okay, we can move over. I'll do it. <laughs> we did manage to marry very unhandy men. They're good guys. You're not married to them yet. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> I married an unhandy man. I know, I feel like they're going to hate us. The first time you just talked about how we are awful. <laughs>
fan going. We need to go. I know. Last year, there were some issues. Didn't have the best time ever. So we're not going to rag on our men. We're not the whole time. Because <laughs> we love them. We do. Um, but this year was way better. They had they had a urinal this year. So one of the issues Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. It was a fabulous idea. It was just like a giant trough. Yes. Oh, God. I'm just like 40 men in a line peeing at the same time. Yes. Dear Lord. So, last year is just porn poggy. So, they have quite a few of them, but you've got thousands of people in one spot drinking lots of beer. Right. And a lot of girls dress like stinky little. Oh, yeah. No bags. (laughs) And they're. Leader hosen or that's a boy or hosen. Yeah, there's a word for it. We call it a a wench, a certain wench. <laughs> I think that's the pirate. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but anyway, for that, we're gonna get so many people. There, there by so many people, I mean the one person who was going to be like, uh, you guys. If there's one person that listens, that's gonna be amazing. That would be more happy. We're gonna love you so much. You don't even know. New best friend for life. Yeah, so there are a lot of girls in a lot of things close, but yeah, last they year, gotta get in and out of that thing every time they pee. I know. The, and and the whole in a porta potty. Yeah. But um, yeah. But, so last year when we went, the bathroom issue was we um, gotta preface this with the fact that Blake has to pee every seven minutes. Yes, my boyfriend <laughs> has a hard time drinking beer and not using the restroom. He has a tiny, tiny. Yes, he does. So it's just fine. That's okay. Yeah. But when you have to wait in line for 30 minutes every time you have to go to the bathroom, it doesn't really give you very much room to talk to them. And it gives you a lot of time to leave your girlfriend by herself at a table just waiting for you. So we had a great time this year. There was men's urinal. So great. It was awesome. Um, every time I was in line and there was like a man around me, I would just say, can you please go use the urinal? Otherwise, I think you have maybe not very large um, endowments, or you have to poop. Yeah. So, <laughs> please, just confuse <laughs> You told, so you're telling me there's a man in line in the restroom, and you're like, sir, is this going to be number one or number two? <laughs> so, I mean, also, how large is your penis? I, <laughs> I, no, I would just, hold up like a centimeter between your fingers, <laughs> and you're like,
regular thick candy bear is small boxes. Which, I mean, isn't the worst, yes, but you also have to pay like 50 bucks for tickets. Yeah, it's 50 bucks for tickets. For tickets to just get in. So you're already paying them just to be there to pay them to drink the beer. <laughs> yes. It was a really good time. We saw a lot of friends. Not us, though, because we didn't go. Not to have a lot of them. But it was fun. So, what I think I should do next year is just, I will say, Jesse, we want to go to Pop Cover Fest with you. Here is my money. When you buy your tickets, also buy mine. <laughs> like does tend to get them. Because that's another thing. Too, yeah, the, the I've main, gone on. They sell out so quick. The main day saw a minute. I saw a friend there who's pregnant. He just does the same as fun. Friends in the name. Oh, I was actually like, you <laughs> here? It's like, you shouldn't be here. And she was like, I got the lemonade. Did she wear a sweaty costume? She did not. Oh, yeah. Because um, it would be fun to be sweaty beer sign girl. No? Yeah. Uh, what is that called? I'm still. Oh, it's not a name. I know, it's a thing. It's like a costume. I thought I could do Google. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time on Google on this podcast because Jesse and I both can't stand to not know something. How long are we doing this? I don't know. <laughs> There's going to be a good chunk that's been cut out. Okay. Probably all the sections of talking crap about it. So there's going to be years as well. At least initially, because they're probably going to make us stop. And then they're going to be like, you know what? Podcast night is over. Well, just like at Sunday Funday, what did we have? Do you remember that podcast or something? That was when we were at Joe's. Probably the hour of it was like literally just talking about all the things they got to Oh, I don't even remember. I remember you asking us when we were going to have kids and Blake being like, whoa, slow the stream down. <laughs> this is too serious in the talk. Well, I think we talked about the right way to put toilet paper on the wall. Oh, like a half an hour. Yeah, well, that's their own fault. <laughs> there is a correct way for that. Yes. I even found like, a diagram and showed it to Adam. I uh, did, and we showed, did you show like the pictures that I made for Adam? Or in, I threatened his life for putting the toilet paper all backwards. He still put it on that. I think he probably didn't expect it. I think that he gets like, you know how you panic if you know the answer to something, but then it's time to like, you have a time question because you can't get it. I think he's like sitting there and he's like, I gotta put this toilet paper on it. And he's like, oh no, my mind's not going. I don't know what's going to do. No, he has his phone with him. Oh, that's right. He could just look at the handy diagram. I could just put a handy diagram next to you. You know what I think the mistake is? I think you need to tie all this up in here before you wrap it. Yeah. I could put some of fun things. I should make it an umbilical cord to a bigger pumpkin. <laughs> Should I just leave it like this? Yeah, I think if it was orange, you would know it was a pumpkin. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe if I make it like paint, I'll make it bigger. <laughs> well, our glasses are empty. So I guess that's it. Drink up. You have craft to do.